Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at a pretty little easy riff by Pink Floyd, the riff for money. I'm sure most of you guys recognize it. Um, the only thing about this riff that's a little different than most is it's in 7-4. So I'll kind of explain that as I go, but it's still it's a pretty easy thing to play. We're going to slightly palm mute the entire time, so lightly lay your, your palm right where the strings meet the bridge there um, through all of it. So let's start here. We're going to be on the... Um, Basically, you're going to hold a power chord, a B power chord, off this second fret on the fifth string, and your the fourth fret on the third and fourth strings. I, I'm sorry, th yeah, third and fourth strings. So we have, you're basically going to pick the fifth string first, then over to the third string, and then back to the fourth, then back to the fifth. Now the timing of that is going to sound like this. All right, we're gonna to get to more timing stuff in a second. I just wanna get the notes in your hands first. So we have that. Then just move over the first finger over to the second fret on the low E string, play the second fret, then the pinky plays the fifth fret. Then the same thing on the A string. And then just slightly bend that um, fifth fret on the A string, just towards the floor, just slightly a little bit, about a quarter of a tone. And then start over. Now you don't have to hold all those notes in that power chord. You just play them all separately like that. Now the timing of being at seven four is basically seven notes per me uh, seven beats per measure, seven quarter notes. So that sounds like that if I was gonna count that it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so it's basically one note per beat, except for the when you go from the G to the D string there. That's an eighth note. So we got one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, and three, four. So just like that, uh, just so you can understand what's going on. But you know those um, more rare rhythms are sometimes good to kind of get into your uh, get the feel of it down to help you learn other ones that could be a little bit more difficult to actually play um, in the future. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back with another riff soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye bye.